some uh, parts and to look at a car for a friend of mine. So, uh, yeah, another typical hour drive for me because nothing is ever, nothing I need is ever in my area. So, we're on another little adventure and it's going to be fun. But, yeah, I don't mind to drive, especially if I'm getting a good deal on something. I don't mind to drive. Hour, hour and a half, two hours, it's not too bad. It's a quick little there and back. Grab what you gotta grab, do what you gotta do, and be all set. But, um, yeah, I really don't know exactly what I'm going to be recording because it's not even anything crazy. Um, but I guess I'll record what I get and show you guys car or something. I really have no idea. This is just me vlogging to vlog, so um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I got some glass headlights with projectors in it, and it has like the ballasts and all that, so I'll just get those put on. Then I got the uh, trim for the, so the doors and the rear bumper, so now the trim on the car is going to be black. So I'll probably go home and just put all this on, and yeah. Because I don't see why not. But yeah, the guy actually came in a pretty nice 95 Mustang. Lately, I've been actually liking American cars. And I do kind of want one. Not a Mustang, though, but I do want... Well, I would like a Fox body. But um, what I do like are the um, Corvettes, like C5, C6, C7s. So, you never know. Maybe I'll end up getting one and throwing like a rear mount turbo kit on it because it makes those cars sound super exotic i remember when i was younger i seen this um i think it was yellow and it had the um rear mounted turbos on it and it made it sound like the um gallardos like the twin turbo v8 gallardos they i don't know how turbos made it sound so similar to an exotic car but it was pretty sick but yeah let me get home and uh yeah i got an hour drive so it's not too bad the to yeah, I'll get to you guys when I get home. So, the lights are going to come off, and we're going to put the new ones on. And the front is going to look even better yet again, because again, simple mods really change the way a car looks. So, I believe these are 8 millimeters. so I just use like the regular like screwdriver insidey part thingy, take them out, and then... Yeah, I forgot, oh yeah, I forgot the corner lights come out with it, so I'm going to have to use two hands to do this, but um, it's really, really easy. And as you guys can see, so much better. Um, I do believe I need to buy a set of the harnesses or put the harnesses on or something, but yeah, because this one has to turn on. I don't know exactly how to do it, but I'm pretty sure it's easy. I, there's like a $20 adapter harness. So I'm pretty sure I need the power and ground for that one and then we'll be all set. But yeah, just it just looks so much better. Like yeah. I just really love the look of the glass headlights. Also, uh if you're having problems with this one, you just get an eight millimeter bolt and end and you just twist it. It's pretty tedious. And that's usually why E36 people don't take this one off. But, yeah, it's not that bad. Just takes a second. Oh, you guys can see it now. There we go. Lights are on. And it looks so much better. I really love this. So, in the future, I'm going to do some custom halos on this. So I'm not going to dial in the front fitment of everything. Because you see here, there's a gap. And then there's no gap here. So I'm just going to have to adjust the front support and everything like that. But that's not going to happen until down the line when I um, button everything up. So, yeah, for now, this is this is perfect. Like, lights work, corner lights work. They're nice, clean looking, everything like that. So, really can't complain at all. Like, I just 
really love how the E36 is a platform where you can modify it and do little things here and there for not much money, relatively, because prices are going up. But you can do a lot of things here and there, little by little, to make the car look so much better. And, like, as you guys can see, like, the mirrors and everything, headlights, front grill, the bumper, um trying to figure out what i want to do with that but i'm gonna be putting that on soon anyway but yeah as you guys can see the car is coming along um the bags are gonna go on this week it's kind of cold out so i'm not gonna bother putting in the management today i'm probably gonna do it tomorrow and then do the strut sometime in the week um but yeah i'm pretty sure that's it for this video um i don't believe i'm gonna be doing anything else i was gonna put the trim on as well but uh i don't 100% know how to do that so I'll do that later it's really not that important but I got the trim so that's what matters so for now I'm gonna put the car back and try to figure out like the uh, clutch situation and everything like that and have that stuff in the car ready to be ordered this week most likely so yeah uh, and then I'll also update you guys on the E92 because uh, we're um, doing some business with some people in their bank, I believe, is in Texas. So if you guys are following the news, you know that Texas is going through some crazy weather right now. So everything's like on lockdown, basically. So it's kind of holding up the progress, but it's going to happen. So this week that should be sorted and M3 may be gone. And if that's the case, then I'll order everything and get this car six speed swapped and bagged. And then I'll drive it around as is until it's until I get enough money to um, do the turbo kit and get a second car. Because while the turbo kit's getting done, it's going to take a little while. I'm probably going to do a bunch of stuff at the same time. So I might as well not like just rely on this one car. You can't rely on just one car if you're a car guy or car girl or whatever gender if you prefer but um yeah i'll get back to you guys in the next video thanks for watching like comment and subscribe and as you guys can see it's we're well on our way so yeah deuces drink water motherfucker drink tea too tea is crucial and eat fruits so yeah that's how it looks with the hood clothes and everything too just throwing that out there but i really love this